Hi everyone, um, another video again today. This time I'll just be looking at two goals which I have already looked at side by side as I think there are some interesting similarities between the two goals and between the way the situations in both clips transpire. So I'll let them play through and then I'll go into the analysis after that. Birgersson noterar att det på ryggen här står glas, det är det ju inte. Birgersson här, Varbergs förvärvet, 1-0 också i samma läge här för Storreta. Det är Helmrich som redan i matchen sand. Bara fem sekunder senare, ja det gäller att inte slappna av för då kan det här hända, nämligen att Jonathan Nilsson reducerar fem sekunder efter det att Isak Rosén gjort 3-1 alltså och... Okej. Okay. So I just want to have a look at both of these goals side by side, just from a specific point. And the point is um, when um, basically the guy on the boards gets the ball just before he puts it down into the corner. So in both goals, what happens is the ball comes to this player. So it's come to here and from here in this video, in this one, sorry, it's come from here to here. And then they play it down into the corner. This way. So let's have a look as to what happens. So in this one, he plays it down into the corner. You can see this guy over here has received it now, and we'll have we'll play it forward on the other one. This guy here carries the ball, carries the ball. Actually takes it onto his back end and then puts it down into the corner. Now, clearly, uh, this guy here has more space has less space, sorry, than this guy. So the Helsingborg player here on the right um, clip has less space and is closer to the net than the Storvreta player who has it here in the corner. But the interesting thing is what happens. If we have a look at a couple of key players or a couple of key things, there is one guy in front of the net in both clips. Two guys who were just with, who were, who were with the guy who just passed the ball. From here is where it differs. In the clip on the left, you can see there are, there's only one other defender, so the black player, tracking the guy coming down the far side onto the back post. So there is this guy tracking this guy, and the middle area is free. There are no players in the middle. In the clip on the right, you have these guys in the middle who are Essentially, there's, there's extras. So, the clip on the left, again, three attackers. One, two, three. Against four defenders. Four black guys. In the clip on the right, four attackers. Against five defenders. What happens from here are the two options, essentially. So, the crux of the issue, or the crux of what's happened, is that the net front player has been put in a two-on-one position. This guy here. He's here and here. And this guy's behind him. In this clip, here and here, and you can see that this guy is not tracking this player on the outside at all. So from here, let's have a look at what happens.
in the store of renter clip, the one on the left, the player gets the ball. And because this defensive player is out towards him, has come towards him and pressed him, he looks for the pass across. And he finds him and en ends up scoring. In the other clip, because this player has stayed back and not pressed him, this player here takes it in himself. Now, it should be noted also that this player out here is a lot further away from the goal than his counterpart in the other clip. However, there's no reason why he couldn't have come inside here. He's got the space to do so, and he'd still be at creating that two-on-one, and he's not even being tracked by this guy here. So it's just a matter, the decision is made by this guy in the corner, whoever's got the ball in the corner, they've made the decision based on what the net front guy does. Obviously proximity to the net matters as well for the player who has the ball. This guy here, and this guy here. However, you know, should if this guy would have stayed back in this area somewhere, the guy with the ball would have, I would have thought, definitely attempted to take it in, at least to here and then have a shot. But since the net front defender came at him, he made the right decision and laid, he, he recognized he had a two on one and put it through to this guy. In the other clip, this guy here with the ball, he knows, probably knows he has a two on one, although this guy's a little bit far away, but since the net front defender did not come to him, he stayed here, then he said, that's fine, I don't need to use the pass, I've got, you've given me enough space. So the essence of it is that whenever there's a two on one, you can always make the defender uh, make the wrong decision. If he comes to you, you play the pass to the other person. If he holds back, you take the space that's afforded because the defender is taking the pass away and giving the ball carrier space to move with. So just thought I'd point that out. Um, I thought it was an interesting comparison. Uh, thanks for watching me. Thanks for watching. Sorry. Let me know what you think about this video and leave a comment if you see any other options or anything else that the, the attackers or the defenders could have done. Thank you.